Hello everybody, John Abdo, author of Wolves of Croton, The Untold Story of Milo. I found it really fascinating when I was researching the book that there were other iconic historical figures that were living during the time of Milo, and many of them had relationships with Milo. For one, Pythagoras, the great master seer, the mastermind, the godman of his day. He was known to be able to bilocate, to literally figure out the cosmos. He actually seen energy and gods within that energy. Pythagoras was the master seer. He eventually became Milo's mentor. In 540 BC, when Milo competed in the World Youth Games, Pythagoras had been in Croton for a year, two years, when Milo was 17 or 18 years old. So Pythagoras obviously heard about Milo, but he obviously heard about Croton because Croton had what the Greek historians claim to have the greatest physicians in the world, Caliphon and Democedes, which lent them a relationship with the Persians because Caliphon healed Megabyces' broken wrist and Democedes healed King Darius's broken ankle that he suffered during a hunting expedition, I think riding his chariot and trying to fire an arrow from a bow and he hit a bump and probably flew out of the thing. But other iconic figures are Diotimus. Diotimus, there's not a lot that I was able to find about Diotimus, but nonetheless, I did find Diotimus, father to Milo. And it was just amazing that I found Milo's father. Uh, Timothatheus. Timothatheus is a real character, and the historians write a lot about Timothatheus. And obviously, his story is in the book because not only was he Milo's teammate, but to give a little bit away to the book, Timothatheus wrestles Milo in Milo's last Olympiad games. So as you're reading Wolves of Croton, you're not only reading the story of Milo, you're reading the story of Milo's friends teammates, and even adversaries. Oh, I forgot to mention Telles, the tyrant of Sybaris, who hated Croton. He first hated Diotimus, and then when Diotimus moved to Croton, the animosity rose to a whole new level. Diotimus got his wife pregnant, Anip. They had a little boy who became a giant of a man named Milo, and Telles was fuming until, not to give it away, but Milo's army fought Telles' army in around 510, 509 BC. I'm John Abdo, just giving you a little bit of facts about this wonderful book called Wolves of Croton, The Untold Story of Milo. I know you'll enjoy reading it.